I mean, my God. Like, on their own terms, forget what, forget their mystification. On their own terms. The guys who settled uh, the United States and wanted to turn it into the city on the hill. You brought them, you, you snapped your fingers and brought them to this and say, here's it is. They would, they would go insane. It, the vulgarness, the, the monstrous, uh, 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 fallen, disgusting, materialist filth of it would drive them insane. And a lot of right-wingers like to say that. They like to complain, oh, the, the, our early Americans would be disgusted. But here's the thing. They made this happen because their conceptions were never defeated. They were the leading, they were the top proposition. That they were their concept, their 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 despiritualized Christianity, their materialist Christianity, made this world because they won. They fought other things and in the fighting created new things and created synthesis out of other things, but they were never unseated from the horse. And what do we have for it? Even on their own terms, it's a, it's hell. Because that's what you'll create. You'll create your own hell trying to build a world out of exploitation, out of class domination, which is committing violence. It is violence to someone that you have to, in your heart, detach yourself from in a way that kills your own spirit. And being in that position of exploitation causes you, for very obvious and understandable reasons, to detach yourself from the people dominating you and hurts your spirit. And then you fight over the scraps for the next 300 years. No matter what fucking language of uh, religiosity and spirituality you use, you're just building that the structures that allow you to do that. Because these guys won. Of no, of, uh, 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 the, 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 the founding generation, the founding generation would be horrified. Why? They won. This, we still have the stupid Constitution. Their dumb instruction manual is still in power. And what can they say? Oh, you distorted it. Oh, you, you stopped paying attention to it. I'm sorry. How was that allowed to happen? Power was exercised through its structures and dominated. It's a fucking instrument of power. What are you complaining about? And what's this? The people who the whole the real point of this thing, as Madison and others said plainly, had nothing to do with creating a civic anything. It was keeping the rich people rich so that they could maintain their position of authority, and it worked. The rich have never been uh, been close to being dehorsed from American power, and now we have this world. If, if if your rule led you to this, of what use was the rule? Because all anything that you're trying to build. You, you, you will convince yourself, no matter how evil the system you, you support is, is that some part of it corresponds to a value somewhere. And that's, your, the, the cultural superstructure exists to lie to you. It is generated by the ruling class to tell the ruling class that up is down, down is up, and that exploitation is love. Now, they're convincing themselves of this because of their deep selfishness, but at a conscious level, they believe a lot of it. At least some of them do. I would say that, like with anyone, it is a fucking bell curve. Most do to some extent. Some do completely. Some do not at all, like Reinhard Heydrich types. But most people believe, to some degree, that they're trying to build a better world or the best possible world. And their power allows them to create a system where everyone around them thinks the same thing. And that's where we are now and where we've always been. Revolution is the attempt from below for, to uh, organize a counter-hegemony with, with values that organize around the reality, the consonance of human, uh, re of human dignity, the, the, the equality of the spirit, and creating a culture where, you, where everyone else agree, believes with that and reinforces it to you. And then, through superior numbers, overcoming the powerful. That's what, that's what was supposed to happen. The hinge point in history was in the, the, the early 20th century when you had gotten finally industrial capitalism had, had overheated in Europe where it was born. It had, it, it, it had fallen, followed the script of Marx to doom. But what's this? Ec colonialism. What's this? The existence of the United States of America as a place where capitalism's headquarters, its brainstem, could decamp after World War II. 
where it had uh, synthesized it had the United States while the United while Europe was overheating with co with uh, capitalism, the steam vent of conflict went to America, where the the mount the bounty of our land allowed us to uh, resolve away all a lot of the social conflict at the heart of the European capitalism within the white race by dominating other races. And then that meant that in Europe, the explosion happened right around when you could have predicted it. But even though the fight was significant and, and there was a big, long uh, holding action at the end, you know, even though the, like the, the battle, you want to look back and say like the class war, uh, In the class war, yeah, uh, in the class war, Gettysburg and Vicksburg are like World War I and the failure of the German Revolution. But then you've got, you know, uh, the Soviet Union in there, you've got the Chinese, and then you have the anti-colonial movements of the Third World, and then the labor movement in the First, and they hold off for a while, and then that's, that's Lee retreating into Northern Virginia. And then, of course, uh, 1989 is Appomattox. But now the, the, the contradictions, the material contradictions continue. So we're going to st still see uh, possibilities emerge, erupt, and change. But like the, 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 the thing that saved capitalism was uh, space, was space and resources that could be technologically dominated to, uh, to alleviate away from the centers of power the uh, exploitation of those closest to it, i.e., the working classes of the working class of Europe and the the uh, racially white working class of the United States, although sections of other minority groups too, just in in, in you know in in a uh, in a segregated fashion. 